Hello and welcome to this exciting lesson in Revit structure. In this lesson, I just want to teach you a quicker way of placing the reinforcement on your bases. That is if you are using perfect detailing. All right. Now we are just going to use this model. This model is part of the course that we have on my website. You can check the link in the description, the first comment. All right. So what I just want to teach you in this lesson is the usage of the pack detailing where you can quickly model the 3D ribbon on your base with the starter bars without cutting any sections. All right. So now I just was, want to ask all of you, if you like what I'm doing on this channel, please don't forget to like my videos and subscribe to this channel. And make sure that you check my website, skillmaxcard.com, where I have a number of courses, including how to use pack detailing step by step in a detailed course all right so what we are going to do is as you can see from here we are going to demonstrate it right here now the first thing that you need to do of course is to select on the base then go to pack detailing select on it once you select on the pack detailing you need to come at the end here click that arrow and click on the main bus once we just click here, you are going to be presented with this. And these are the options that we have. Right. Now, if you don't want to start by selecting, you can as well go to Pack Detailing. Then click on Main Bars right there. And then you'll be required now to select the element. Now, an element could be anything within here. And I've explained that in the detailed course. Right. Now, I'm just going to... Click on the base right there, and this is what we get. Then we have the options there. You can minimize it or expand it by clicking the plus there, as you can see from there. So I've expanded everything here. So we have these options on the far left and these options where you can change the parameters there. So I'll start with the bottom. I want to reinforce both at the bottom and at the top. All right and you can do it very very quickly than cutting sections now since i'm also explaining you'll see that maybe we need a bit of time because i have to explain each and every step but this can be done in you know in very few minutes than cutting sections when you are using you know pure revit all right so i'll select on the bottom bars along x you'll notice here that i'm not able to enter you know the i can either use you need to come to define distribution by you can decide here either by quantity or spacing are you spacing since you start the base there and now you need to specify the spacing there maybe let me use 150 as my spacing okay now the start and start and end offset you know on the edges here q1 and q2 you can even see from here the offsets from the faces there so maybe I will leave it at 100 the way it is maybe let me just put 100 there then i'm going to use y16 as my bar then we have the covers i'll maintain the 25 millimeters you can enter the cover of your choice then the hooks the left and the right so i'm just going to maintain the 90 degrees and now the the length for the right and the left maybe let me enter maybe 60 and also this side 60 then I'll go on the Y. I'll change this one by spacing. I'm going to use Y16, the spacing of 150. Then I'll also maintain the this one here, 100. I'll start, uh, start and end offset. I'm just going to maintain 100. Then I'll go top bars along X. is still the same thing, spacing. I'll just change here 150 then I'll just put 100 you can also enter here if you want maybe spacing 100 right there okay I'll leave it oh. okay now I also need to counter check the covers you know the top the left the right and you can even counter check from here from the top here L1, L2, all these are the covers that you need to specify and you can change from here. So I'll leave it the way it is. And I'll maintain the 60 for my, you know, for my length, for my hooks there in the 90 degrees. So I'll do the same on this one. Spacing, I'll use spacing, 150. Okay, I'm just going to maintain what is there and everything as is except for, for the hook lengths. Just like that. 
all right now i need to go to the supported element okay these are the starter bars so you can see from here that what we have here is a round column so it's going to detect that this is a round column so of course the minimum is six you know number bars that is the quantity then i'm going to use an r8 you can pick it from there then the top and the bottom these are the covers i'm just going to maintain you see that we have t and you can just read from here from there up to the top there you know you can read from there then the bottom i will just maintain the defaults then the angle at the top i'm not i don't want to have an angle at the top there but at the bottom i want to have maybe negative 90 that's fine then the length for the bottom there i'll maintain the default so this is the same then i can go to the links there if i just click there and there's still the same thing i just want to have maybe six of them then r8 then the spacing maybe 150 okay maybe no offsets you can even check from here this is self-explanatory maybe from the beginning maybe let me have 50 millimeters okay then the covers i'll maintain the 25 as you can see from here and i'm done with whatever i have here i can always come back here and change one or two things if i want just click on ok all right then click on ok i think i need to you can see that all the bars are there i'll select on it right see that we have the bars now maybe i just need to play with the you can see that the covers this side and also that other side and also extend you know the starter bars there but the setter bars we have six of them so it's still selected i can just go to pack detailing just need to go to main bars there all right supported okay so i need to check this one the t that is the bar maybe let me change to 1200 right what else maybe we need to check the the covers i think the covers this one is okay so and let me put 100 also on this one 100 on this one i'll leave it 75 let's see what we get all right so just click on ok just click on ok once again so as you can see now we have the starter bars we have you know the six you know links there and this is how you can quickly place the reinforcement so this is the quickest way if you are using pack detailing it helps you to you know to model riba in the quickest possible way all right now there are a lot of tools in pack detailing and that's the reason why you want also to use pack detailing that is that is of course if you have it you see that we have all these tools to generate drawings automatically and that is what i've explained in detail in the course and how to model different types of elements within revit so don't forget to like my channel to like my videos and subscribe to my channel see you in some upcoming lessons